Let's talk about a very handy and underused tool, in my opinion. Here's how to take a screenshot. And it's slightly different depending on your iPhone model. If you have a home button, press that in either the top or side button uh, to take a screenshot. I'm doing this, I'm demonstrating on my iPhone 11, where I'm going to press simultaneously the volume up button on the left side of the phone and the button on the right side. Here we go. When you do that, the screenshot thumbnail temporarily appears at the bottom left, as you can see. Uh, you can open it by tapping it there, and it will open for you uh, to use markup. Or, if you don't open it, which I didn't, if you don't open it there, your screenshot moves into your Photos app, where you can open it in edit mode. You can add drawings and text to screenshots with markup there and, and uh, do a number of other things. Here's the easiest way to find your iPhone screenshots. In Photos, I'm going to tap on Photos, tap Albums, one of the four tabs down at the bottom, and I'm going to scroll down to Media Types. This is really very handy. It tells you how many of each of different uh, photos you have and selfies and videos. I'm going to go to screenshots. Don't get excited here. 894 screenshots. Yes, I've got a lot there. Um, so I'm going to tap on that. And then there, there they are. There's uh, my 894 screenshots that I use um, in Boomer Tech Work. I t obviously take lots of screenshots and find them very useful. I, take, I have, you can see photos. Here's one. We took a picture last October before we did some carving, and we wanted to have a couple models. Uh, but I also save quotes and many more things. Here are some best uses of iPhone screenshots. Uh, capture important information, something on your screen you want to keep track of, uh, recipes perhaps, a quote, a confirmation code that comes up. Um, you can also share with others via text, email, or social media to troubleshoot problems on your phone, take a screenshot of the error message, another good use of screenshot, and, and creating tutorials to share with others. Anyway, those are a few ideas on uh, screenshots on your iPhone. Uh, good luck. Give it a try if you don't already use them. And we'll see you in the next video. This is Ed Brzee with Boomer Tech Adventures.